that is also Vrindavan. And so the same goes here. Here is Krishna. So we are in Vrindavan. We don't actually need to travel half around the world in expensive uh, jet planes, <coughs> burning up the atmosphere. You know, we can stay right here and we're in Vrindavan. So Lord Chaitanya reminds Nityananda, well, wait a minute, you tricked me already once. Uh, and then he, then he remembers uh, something else. He said, while on the way to Jagannath Puri, you broke my sannyas staff. I know that all you, I know all of you have great affection for me, but such things disturb me, disturb my activities. Then he turns to Jagadananda who is an intimate associate of Roger Tanya. Jagadananda wants me to enjoy my senses. Uh, and out of fear, I do whatever he tells me. If I sometimes do something against his desire, out of anger, he will not talk to me for three days. Jagadananda um, had a very emotional nature and a very you know, deep love for Lord Chaitanya. We're told in the uh, Gandhish Dipika that um, Jagadananda was an incarnation of Satchibana. Satchibana was the queen of Krishna, who was a little temperamental. That was her relationship. So Jagadananda was the same. And he, because his relationship with Lord Chaitanya was, um, well, I mean, I don't, I, I couldn't, I don't know what it, but it was very, in, um, loving, emotional, intense relationship. So once he <coughs> he wanted, uh, he somehow got hold of some very expensive perfumed oil and he wanted to massage Lord Chaitanya with this oil. And Lord Chaitanya is a sannyasi. I said, this would not be appropriate. <laughs> um, <coughs> so he refused. Jagadananda's advances, you know, with this oil. And Jagadananda um, <coughs> got very angry and in, in <coughs> what was it? he threw a sort of a, it was almost like a lover's quarrel, and he threw a, a sort of a, a fit of anger and he got the this really expensive oil. He had to bring it from far, far away. It was a great, elaborate arrangement he made together and so on in a pot and he smashed it on the ground. So the, the whole oil was wasted. And then after that, he sulked for three days and wouldn't speak to anyone. And eventually, Lord Chaitanya had to go uh, and persuade him. And he, he fasted as well. So he went and actually persuaded him to eat a great deal of coffee. So he's bringing out that as well. And then he brings up the fact that Nityananda, you know, fights with him and is devious breaks his dander and he tricks him. Jagadananda is always trying to get him to sort of behave inappropriately. Um, and then he talks about Mukunda. Mukunda was his childhood friend. They went to school together and he came with him to Jagannath Puri. And he serves him as a sort of personal servant in Puri. Being a sannyasi, I have a duty to lie down on the ground and take a bath three times a day, even during the winter. But Mukunda becomes very unhappy when he sees my severe austerities. Of course, Mukunda doesn't say anything, but I know that he's unhappy within, and upon seeing him unhappy, I become twice as unhappy. So he's feeling uncomfortable because he knows that Mukunda himself obviously is not. Mukunda's a sinner. Mukunda's famous for his sinning. Mukunda Data. So we can, uh, we can, well, we don't know, but maybe Mukunda wasn't really in the same mood of austerity that the Rajatanya wished to be. And then finally, he thinks of Dhammada, that Srut Dhammada, his secretary, who is a very strict Sanyasi. <coughs> Although I am in the renounced order of life, and Dhammadar, oh no, okay, Sri Dhammadar is a brahmachari. I'm in the renounced order of life, and Dhammadar is a brahmachari, but he still keeps a stick in his hand just to educate me. According to Dhammadar, I'm still a neophyte, 
As far as social etiquette is concerned, therefore he doesn't like my independent nature. Dhammadar Pandit and others are more advanced in receiving the mercy of Lord Krishna. This is today's verse that's on the board. Therefore they are independent of public opinion. As such, they want me to enjoy sense gratification, even though it be unethical. But since I'm a poor sannyasi, I cannot abandon the duties of the renounced order, and therefore I follow them strictly. So today's verse, um, we have this word Luca picture, <coughs> which it's something to do with, probably translates it in two different ways in the same verse. It is to do with public opinion. So uh, please repeat after me. Let's keep the tradition. <coughs> Loka Piksha, Loka Piksha, Nahi 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 Krishna Kripa, Krishna Kripa, Aite Aite Ami Ami Loka Piksha, Loka Piksha, Kabu Na Na Pari Pari Chadite Chadite. So what am I saying? That's what I did. This Kabu K A B H U. Loko Piksha Nahi in Har Krishna Kripa Haite Loko Piksha Nahi in Har Krishna Kripa Haite Ami Loko Piksha Kabu Na Pali Chadite Ami Loko Piksha Kabu Na Pali Chadite Loko Piksha Nahi in Har Krishna Kripa Haite Loko Piksha Nahi in Har Krishna Kripa Haite Loka Piksha Kabu Na Pari Chadite Okay, I'll press on with this time to show me. So the translation is Dhammadar Pandit. He's speaking, Lord's trying to speak about Dhammadar now. He's saying that Loka Piksha Nahi, basically, he doesn't care about. Local picture, public opinion. Uh, Dhammada Pandit and others are more advanced in receiving the mercy of Krishna. Therefore, they're independent of public opinion. Um, Krishna Prabhupada says, you know, because they are absorbed in Krishna Kripa, the mercy of Krishna, they're not really, they don't care much for what people think. Um, but, um, oh, and as such, they want me to enjoy sense gratification. Uh, Lord Chaitanya speaks for himself. But since I am a poor sannyasi, I cannot abandon the duties of the renounced order, and therefore I follow them strictly. Ami, uh, Ami loka pekshe kabu. Kabu means at any time. So uh, I have to pay attention to public opinion at any time. Na pari chadite. I'm not able to give up such concerns. To Prabhupada's purport, it says, it's just three lines. It says, a brahmachari is supposed to assist a sannyasi. Therefore, a brahmachari should not try to instruct a sannyasi. That is the etiquette. Consequently, Dhammadar should not have advised Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's duty. But here is the, um, the position of Lord Chaitanya that although he is absorbed in profound ecstasies of Krishna consciousness and he's completely, you know, on a spontaneous platform, of course, but it was very important to him to behave uh, in a way, you know, that was, gave the right impression. 